Hello everybody, my name is Richard and welcome to the Supercraft server. A lot has changed since the last episode and before we begin this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of what I've been up to. So we've done a lot of work on the live streams and last episode I showed you this blue like landing pad that I made. I was originally going to, going to make it into a building but I like the floor that much and, and the space is so useful to land on I actually may keep it just as it is. Um, I've built up the side of this this building a little bit it's still not finished i know it, this bit up here does not look good does it but we've started to build the side of it anyway and i'm going to reinvent this front bit as well um so we've started to get a bit, bit of a roof in here and some walls in and there's not much behind i'm afraid it's not really that interesting but okay so um down here though if i can just fly out and let's do a spin now you can see that i've done some terraforming and put some plants in and now that is beginning to look that is beginning to look a little bit more natural i think uh, always natural as I can make it. So we've done that. We've, we're beginning to like blend all this together. And I started working over here a little bit and blended this together. But of course, um, this isn't going to stay like this with this um, weed. I just had to find somewhere to grow some wheat because I was, was kind of running out of it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so if you remember from last episode, I produced this little area with the, with the elevators and the drop going down into the mines and i also produced this moss farm now there was actually a wooden roof here except i didn't realize how sensitive wooden blocks were to, to catching fire even if lava is covered up so even though the wooden blocks only went up to about here um yeah that was not good it actually came as a quite a surprise to me actually because i didn't realize and i came back and half of my base had, had burnt away and i thought someone had snuck onto the server and destroyed everything but it turns out they haven't so that's okay anyway so after I built this, I um, built this kelp farm, which is the world's worst farm. And of course, the reason why the chains are floating is because there was wood there originally. But this is the world's worst kelp farm. Um, it actually barely produces any bone meal because the kelp runs off through the top and through this composter. Um, barely produces any bone meal. I worked out that it produces one bone meal per one hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> So that's not good. That That's not a good farm. I'm going to have to change that because that's a bordering on useless. Um, th thankfully, Josh had some spare um, bones from his mob farm and left me a load of bone meal. And that is going to be put into this uh, moss farm. Let's actually just put some in now and I'll show you how it works. So if you remember from the last video, you just load in the bone meal here into this barrel. And when you switch it on at the wall down here, I could have put more in there actually. Switch it on at the wall. Switch it on the wall. Does that work? No. Switch it on the wall. <laughs> yes, it's working. Phew. Right, switch it on the wall and then um, it releases the the stone and the pistons push the stone forward and blah, blah, blah. You know the drill if you saw the other video. Yeah, forgive these blocks just randomly stuck in here. That's because of the fire issue. Um, it still works the farm anyway. It didn't burn any of the farm away, thank goodness. So it comes down here. I fills the moss up in here um, and that's producing moss. So what we're going to do today and today, have, we, have I covered everything? Oh, oh, the other bit. Sorry, I've just remembered there's another bit I need to show you about. Um, so let me just eat, 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 and eat again. Right, fly again. Okay, built this area over here as well and um, it's not finished. It's not properly decorated. It's very functional at the moment. And here we have at the top, this is a potato farm. So, oh, come on. So here we've got this villager here and he is growing the, the potatoes and he is all then trading with the other villager who's trapped in that cage, which my girlfriend thinks is mean. And when he, oh, I can't even get in there. I'm going to have to show you. Oh, no. Right, come on, we can do this. Let's not trample the crops as well. Right, so let's just very gently. Right. So he trades with this guy here and then they fall in the potatoes fall into the hopper there and they get fed into the hillside and i'll show you in a minute so let's get rid of that so no one jumps over it when i say no one i mean as, as mob zombie zombie mob zombie thing right let's fly okay so down here we've got the guy doing the the potato cap what are they carrots Carrots, and he's doing the same thing, and he's trading with the villager who was just in that um, shelter there. Now, I had a big problem um, with this farm, and th that problem was a spruce tree grew next to the side of it, and because of the mod we've got on the plug-in, it will 
when you chop one piece of wood from a tree, what it does is remove all wood that it's connecting to. And uh, the mod couldn't tell the difference between a tree and what I'd built with. So it actually removed all of the wood all the way around, all the way up there. And it was just a complete nightmare, which is why some of this doesn't look... Well, it's mismatched, isn't it? Because they haven't properly repaired it yet. But these farms are working. So we've got a potato and carrot farm just there. So if we go down here, you'll see... No, you won't see in there. It's on the other side. Here, we've got carrots coming through. And there, we've got potatoes coming through. And the top farm, obviously, uh, goes through... The hoppers go through the wall and come out there. And the bottom farm come, come, comes out there. That would, I'm sure there's a better way of explaining that with proper English. Anyway, up here are the chests for my AFK fish farm because we've got a little um, mod or plug-in, I can't remember the terminology, on the server that allows us to do AFK fish farming. A um, little bit cheaty, but speeds the game up a little bit, but not so much that it ruins the game. Um, so that's pretty cool. And, you know, once you've got the box anyway, you don't really tend to use it. You only use it in a very early game. So um, we've got our villagers down here that we've been breeding up for that. And you can see there how I got them in. I used the the rail, the rail carts, the rail track cart, mine carts, mine carts. <laughs> I don't know what happens. As soon as I come on this game, my memory just goes. Anyway, let's just show you how we got that back there as well. So there you go. There's the, if we go like that, you'll, oh dear, that's not good. Why is the water there? There shouldn't be water there. Hmm. Okay, let's just jump this one back. Okay, here. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, no, I've ruined it now. What? Oh, this is bad. I think I've ruined it. No. Okay, right. I'll fix that later. There you go. He he is on there, and then that goes down. The, when they trade, the items go in the hopper. Just, just, you can just, just through that gap. You can just, just see. Goes under there and under there. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work anymore because he's moved backwards, but never mind. <laughs> Let's just, just hope it does. I'll come back and fix that later. Anyway, that's what we've been up to. Um, so, today, what we're going to do... Oops, no. Today, what we're going to do... Okay, so... That's where we're up to on the base, and what we need to do now is, and we're going to do this on a live stream, but I'm also going to be recording it as well, is we're going to go and build a shop for our moss farm. So we're going to collect some moss up here. The, the farm, is that running still? Yeah, the moss whoop, farm is running. Um, we're going to collect a load of moss up, and then we're going to go over to the shopping district, because we're um, setting up a little shopping district, and um, build our moss shop. So that's what, what we're going to do in today's episode. Now, um... Yeah, kind of inspired by Hermitcraft Season 7, because so we're building it in a mushroom biome, are they called? With the mushroom cows. Mush mushroom cows? I don't know. That's where we're building it. Um, and Josh has very kindly uh, left me some golden carrots here, because he's just set up a gold farm in the nether, which we might go and have a look as well. Look at as well. So that is what we're going to do in this week's video. I'm just randomly running around here while I'm talking. My mind it isn't actually connected to the screen in front of me. It's just just the two separate things completely going on. Ah, right, that's where we're up to. Let's get going. Let's go into the Nether, have a look at Joshy's gold farm, and let's go and have a look in the shopping district. Okay, so here's Josh's gold farm. I have no idea how this works, but it looks very impressive. And I don't know what's up here. Let's go up here and see what happens. No, don't touch that. Don't touch the scaffold and be careful. Okay. There, oh, that's an AFK spot. So the gold farm here is full of evil um, and creates gold from said evil. Oh, yeah, let's crouch. So, yeah, things go down there and gold is created. That is how the gold farm works. That is quite clever. Oh, yeah, turtle legs. Ah, cool. So they die, and then they go down there. And that's how that works. That's my redstone genius there. Um, yeah, there you go. That's it. And then things are collected here. Uh, I don't know. That that all looks clever. But it's cool. Apparently it's working very well, which is why Joss, Joss has given me some golden carrots to use. Right. Where was it going next? Shopping district. Which way was that? Our our portals need sorting out a little bit, I think. Where did, did I come out this way? I think this might be the shopping district. This looks like quite a clear line. Let's go for it and just see where it takes us to jump third that. Where it takes us. Was that a villager? What are you doing here? Are you lost? Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Right, that's gone. 
No. Can I block him in? Uh, well, you know, we've got other ones. You're expendable. Ooh, let's just see where this, built, this portal leads. Aha! And here we go. And there is a shop here. With... That looks like a pineapple. Pineapple shop. Golden carrot shop. Oh, it's a carrot. Okay. <laughs> um, welcome to the golden carrot shop. Your one place stop for the best food in the game. Two stacks of carrots and one diamond. Okay. Right, two stacks of carrots and one diamond. Okay. Problem is, is I don't own any diamonds at the moment. Right. So, where can I build my shop? I assume we're going to build some kind of pathway around here at some point. So, I don't want to build it too close. Hmm. Um. Maybe we should build it... I don't want to interrupt... Maybe build it... Build it... Because I don't know at the moment... Because Joss isn't online... And he's in America... And the time zones are all different... And don't often catch him... I don't want to actually build too close... Until I've spoke to him... So maybe for the moment... I'll build a shop... I think facing it would be quite reasonable... As long as the big, there's a big enough gap... If we want to build a road... So... Um, let's put some markers on this... I actually haven't brought anything suitable to mark it... So... Hmm... Yeah... And I've, I'm thinking... Because it's going to be a moss shop... It's going to be overgrown in fact my favorite style of building like very natural organic messy kind of just directly opposite this is where my moss shop is going to be and quite helpfully quite helpfully is that good english helpfully not quite helpfully helpfully um helpfully there's already moss here <laughs> and my farm is going to make it as well so today's video let's get started on making this moss shop Okay, everybody, after three hours of work on a live stream, I've built a moss shop. Three hours is a bit of an embarrassing amount of time to build this, if I'm honest. But I kept changing my mind, going back, editing things, changing things again. And I'm pretty happy with what I've done, so I'll give you a quick tour. Okay, so um, what I did is I planted some mangrove trees around the edge. There's a few custom kind of trees and some oak trees. I thought I'd kind of frame it with this really overgrown kind of thick foresty kind of feel uh, the roof is all moss as well to the shop it's almost like the shop is actually being built into a cave full of moss we did this big moss sign at the back which was a real pain to build because i actually built it slightly to the left slightly to the right by mistake um it took me a while to kind of work out how to do an m that wasn't absolutely ginormous but i think that's not so bad you can you can tell that says moss um, inside we've got some of the moss that we've been making in our automatic moss farm so i've decided to sell it for five stacks of one diamond and i think that's pretty reasonable five stacks one diamond so uh, of course people will just take five stacks then leave a diamond in its place i've not filled the chest yet so far because i'm still making the moss in my farm um the inside's pretty burr if i'm honest but i i think it's okay i mean actually maybe we could put some candles put some candles in here maybe a couple of candles um Flint and steel, let's give it a bit of a light. That's not so bad. I don't, I don't know. I actually don't know if it, I don't know if the candles work or not. I have no idea. Let's put some candles there. Why not? You know. Uh, what I don't like is they keep every time I put them down, the big one is always at the back. Is that if I put it down that way? No, they always go that way around. That's really annoying because you want the one that side of the room, the small ones. Anyway, the logical bit of my brain doesn't like that so anyway yeah um i put an ender chest there so people can get the diamonds and i built it just across from josh's shop so um yeah i really like it because I, I thought the shop has to reflect what you're selling i've decorated a little bit we've got some we've got um, a compost there it's all overgrown we've got some barrels and this fragmented broken kind of wall so yeah there you go that's one little project done for this this video um now to go on to the next project Okay, everybody, now that we've done the um, moss shop, I uh, just want to show you something I was working on a live stream the other day, and we're just going to finish off this uh, little farm. Uh, oh, how do I get up it? This way? 
Okay, so the other day on the stream, I produced this cactus farm just here. Um, as you can see, it's not working properly. So we produced this cactus farm on a live stream the other day, and that now is feeding cactus down this water stream into here. Um, it's dropping down here and collecting in here, which is feeding into this furnace. So we have here the composter, which is taking stuff from the kelp farm, and here we have the furnace which is taking stuff from the cactus farm. Now what I was thinking is wouldn't it be cool if I had a switch and I could switch between the kelp going into the kelp and the cactus going into the composter or the kelp and the cactus going into the furnace because obviously we get dried kelp and green dye from the furnace and then we'll get um, compost from both of them. So I thought that would be useful. I just need to work out how to do it. So. What I was thinking is having a water stream collecting them both, running around here, running around the back, and then you have two switches that will switch between one and the other. So to do this, first thing I'm going to have to do is get rid of um, that furnace there because it's a, just, it needs to be a little bit, um, there needs to be more space. So we'll put the um, hoppers, uh, so the hoppers will just go back in into the back of there and the fern the new furnace will go here and then we'll work out how we're going to get the water streams to divert the water now we don't need this many hoppers anymore my old design was a bit rubbish and probably was over complicating it so what i'm going to do is have blocks rise out of the floor to divert the water stream from one to the other now there's probably a better way of doing this and feel free to give me some ideas and suggestions in the comment section but I'm going to do this just trying to keep it nice and simple it just may mean that there may be two switches we'll just make it out a chisel 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 <laughs> we'll just make out a chisel deep slate to begin with and we can always change the blocks as we go but this is just to begin to get like a an idea of how it's going to work now what I'm thinking is we've got this oh I keep doing that <laughs> we've got this uh, let's just get some now that fuel goes in the top so that no the fuel goes in the back sorry so it's going to need to be this height to begin with and then we need to so we've got, we want this water flowing this way that hopper doesn't need to be there anymore so we can get rid of that right okay next plan i've got an idea we're now going to have to move this to the left one so this is where it'd be split there'll be block there that block will need to come up and that block needs to come up. So that means we need a hopper here. And these blocks need to be sealed. And that needs to be sealed. So the water will come out of here, flow that way. We can get rid of that. And flow that way. So this block now needs a piston underneath it. Aha. Uh -huh. But our problem is, now what happens if I put a block there? Yes! So, that might work. That might work. So what we need to do now is come up with a mechanism that will raise the pistons that I can easily just change the settings of. Okay guys, I think I've solved the problem after a lot of messing about. So now we have these two levers. Um, and at the moment, the left one is active, which means the water is flowing into the right one. So anything from the cactus farm or the kelp farm will now be going into the composter here. So if I switch, flick, so if I show you up here actually first before I do that, you can see that this piston is up and this piston is down. So if I just show you now here, the water from the kelp farm is now farm, I can't even speak, it's now flowing into the composter. So what we need to do now is we need to get the... Oh, right. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. There's a, there's a piece of cactus. It's just floated down and it's gone straight into the compost. That's brilliant. So if we go down here, we'll, let's switch this off. Switch this one on and go back up here and you'll see that now this piston is down. This one is up. Now let's go back up to the top and see how that is working. That should now be directing all of the kelp and the compost into this hopper here, which goes into the furnace here. Finally, we did it. Okay, let's load that furnace up. So in here, we'll start getting green dye and 
dried kelp and then here we'll continue to get bone meal depending on which switches are switched i couldn't think of a way to make this just one switch that would change them i know there is a way because i've seen people do it but i just don't know how so if you know the way please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section teaching me how to do that but we're done there now the um the bone meal and the cactus um the cactuses will either go into the furnace or there depending on which switch oh, i have switched and that took a while even though now looking at it, it's actually very very simple so that's pretty cool um, that's pretty adventurous for me to be honest with you i don't do, normally do things that adventurous so if you watched today's video thank you very very much for watching i'm going to keep doing these kind of update videos every few weeks just to let you know what we've been doing on the live stream and maybe do a few projects um in the videos as well but these are kind of like check-ins between the live stream videos so uh, if you want to come and say hello please feel free to come and um drop by the live streams comment on the chat give suggestions uh, i live stream on twitch and youtube and facebook all at the same time and uh, hopefully the chat will be working i've had some nightmare issues with the chat recently because it it's just all over the place on the streaming uh, software and i'm still kind of getting used to it but thank you very very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video bye bye